Hi, this is Richard Thiem. Uh, I'm an author and a professional speaker. I have been doing that work for uh, over 22 years. My focus is on technology, uh, all kinds of technology, biological, informatics, computer technology, uh, and the way they impact human beings, how they affect our identity, how they affect our organizational structures, how they affect geopolitical structures, even how they affect identity at the level of planetary culture. Uh, I've written a bunch, published about, well, published or contributed to four books in the last six years. The most relevant one, and one of which I am so proud, is uh, having been a contributor to the effort headed by Mike Swords and Robert Powell uh, called UFOs and Government, a Historical Inquiry. Uh, it's a terrific work of history that's become the gold standard for how to do historical research into a complex and daunting subject. Now, I've been interested in UFOs oh, in, a, in a really focused way since 1978. At that time, I was a clergyman, an Episcopal clergyman, and I was serving in a parish on the edge of Hill Air Force Base in Utah. And one of our parishioners was a bird colonel who... Uh, was a fighter pilot, heavily decorated in Vietnam, and a very right stuff kind of guy. And Close Encounters of the, of the Third Kind was playing in the multiplexes at that time, and I asked him, uh, what's the story on this stuff? I said, I read people like Hynek and Blay and so on, and they say you chase these things in your fastest fighters and can't catch them. What's real? And he said, that's what's real. We chase them in our fastest fighters, and we can't catch them. That was the occasion of what I would call a contextual shift in my interest in the subject. That is, instead of it just being interesting and fascinating and sexy and fun and a little eerie, it became real. And once it becomes real, you're on the other side of the looking glass. You're looking at it in a different way, and you're also wandering through a hall of mirrors. That's one of the themes in the speech I'm going to be given, giving at the symposium, Against the Wind, why people can't think seriously about UFOs. One of the causes is successful campaigns of uh, disinformation and obfuscation. Other causes are psychological and sociological, and I'll go into those in some depth, because why people with whom we engage on the subject can't engage with us seriously is a very important aspect of how this phenomena is approached and how it's discussed. What is it about UFOs that has been so fascinating to me over the years? Well, it has a numinous quality. Uh, UFO phenomena, whether you've experienced it or whether it impacts you, is almost, in some cases, like a religious experience in that it confronts you with other. It confronts you with the beyond. It confronts you with more than we think. It confronts you with the end of the consensus reality in which we uh, live and move and have our being and suggest that a new paradigm is re required. Now, that new paradigm is going to be contingent on what it is exactly that all of the diverse kinds of UFO phenomena and experience really wind up suggesting is true. And we don't have the answers to all that now, but uh, we do know that it confronts us with the limitations of our very provincial understanding of who we are. Uh, this planet is one of billions and this galaxy is one of billions, and we're not the first planet to evolve life, and we're probably not the top of the food chain in this extraordinarily complex and vast uh, and impossible to comprehend universe that we're just beginning to explore. Uh, I liken it to uh, little toddlers, uh, three or four years old, their hand in the hand of a parent, going down the steps and walking around the block for the first time. We haven't even crossed the street yet. We've just done robotic explorations and limited human explorations of the moon and robotic explorations of the uh, solar system. There's so much, so much more. And UFOs confront us with that so much more in a way that is powerful, uh, paradigm shifting, context shifting, um, and identity shifting. And those are huge issues to, to uh, have to deal with. So I'll be talking about my themes in relationship to all that. Uh, I'm looking forward very much to the conversations I'll have in Orlando. And uh, it's going to be a great conference.